This is a run-of-the-mill defroster fan out of a 2000 Ford Explorer. It's my nephew's Ford Explorer, and when I was over there, he mentioned his uh, blower wasn't working. And what I found is if I whacked on it with my fist, she'd fire right up, but it wouldn't start every single time. So you know you had some some dead windings or something going on in there, dead com bar maybe. So we head out to the wrecking yard and we pull one and it works perfectly. And then I pull out the little vent and I notice that down inside there, this is the most worn out electric motor I have ever seen. So I thought we would cut it apart and have a look at just how bad it really is. All right, so we got her cut in half. Now let's see how much effort it's gonna be to get it pulled apart. There. So now if you look down inside, the brushes, while worn, Still got almost, I don't know, three-eighths of a half inch on one side and a little more on the other. There's nothing obviously, you know, this thing didn't wobble. I mean, I, I expected like loose bearings or something, but look at that. I mean, uh. You know, granted, I don't pull electric motors apart every single day, but that is hands down the worst motor I've seen. Look at how it has scored those. You know, and the, the truck we pulled the replacement out of, out of the wrecking yard, same miles. Exactly the same miles. I was worried that this would be like a trait, so I popped the breather off and the other one, flawless. There's something that happened to this. You know, it's almost like the brush housings were dragging or something on there. Let me see if I can get a brush out. You know, there are the brush. It's off center. So is the other one. No sign that the housing was dragging. Nothing. So I really can't explain that. There's no sign that it's extra dirty inside there. But something just ate this alive. And, I, and you can see there's, there's probably the dead one right there. When she'd stop on those, it wouldn't start on its own. You had to bonk. And then it would and it'd go. But something just ate this motor alive. It's still turning, you know. Like I said, if you whacked on it, she'd start up and it seemed to run normally after that. Low, medium, high. There's no scoring on the bearing surfaces. There are the self-centering wobble bearings. Even dry, there's, there's nothing there. No slop of any kind. So I don't really know what happened to it. But there you go. That is the worst, worst set of com bars I have ever seen. That is the most scored I've ever seen a commutator in an electric motor. I've seen them burned, but I've never seen them gouged like that. How deep is that? All right, so up here. We are just under, just under three quarters of an inch. And then down in the low spot, wow, it's an eighth of an inch difference between the two. And for you guys that do millimeters, I don't know, you're on your own. But it's an eighth of an inch, oh heck, I can do millimeters. What do we got here? We have... 22 millimeters on the nose 
and 20 down in the bottom. So, 2 mm. That's what's been gouged away here. Worst motor I've ever seen. Still ran.